Hi, so I want to show you how to make one of my favourite kind of cheap, easy meals. These ingredients are so inexpensive, so accessible, and just like the best example of how healthy eating is just for everyone. Um, so it's an amazing stir fry with broccoli and kale and sweet potatoes and garlic, black beans, lemon, rice. So it's just full of goodness and flavour and it's amazing. Um, so the first thing we need to do is cook the rice. So I use short grain brown rice, I just prefer the taste and the texture. Um, and you want to weigh out about 90 grams of that. No, should you see? Perfect. So it doesn't look like very much, but it's only one part of the meal. So then I actually cook it in my steamer because we steam the sweet potato, but obviously you can just cook it in a normal pan. So you want to pour that in there and then add boiling water. And then put the lid on and let that cook. That needs to cook for about 40 minutes, so it will cook for sort of 10, 15 minutes before you put your sweet potatoes on. So once your rice is cooking, you wanna cook your sweet potatoes. You need one, but mine are pretty small today, so I'm gonna to use two. Um, and then we just want to just cut these into small pieces, um, but I leave the skin on, it's full of goodness, tastes good. And you want to just cut them into bite-sized pieces, kind of this size. So, uh, yeah, so we steam them so that they soften, and then um, we saute them with the garlic and the lemon and everything else so that they become kind of squidgy and they really mix up with everything, which is when they taste really good. Perfect, so once they're all chopped, you wanna add them to steamer in about 10 minutes or so after the rice has gone on to cook, and then they'll cook sort of 20 to 30 minutes till they're nice and soft and tender, but not, you know, totally disintegrated or anything. So once our sweet potatoes and rice are nearly cooked, then we're gonna do the rest of the stir fry. So we wanna start by just chopping up your broccoli. Perfect, so once that's done, and I my kale is actually already ripped up, that's just how I bought it, but if it's not, then you wanna rip it up into similar sizes. And then I've already rinsed and drained my black beans because that's not very interesting to watch. But yeah, just open the can and them under the sink in a colander. Um, and so now ready to fry everything up. So get your cloves of garlic. into your pan. Smells really good. If you like a lot of garlic, then you can add more than three. And then a good pinch of salt, pepper, and then a nice big glug of olive oil. And then we're just going to fry that up for a minute or two until it starts to bubble. And then we add our broccoli, let that cook for a minute or two. And then we add our kale and our beans. Mush that all up so it's cooking, getting nice and hot and delicious. And then we'll stir in the rice and the sweet potatoes, which will already be cooked. And it's going to be amazing. So yeah, start with the garlic.
And then finally we add our sweet potatoes and our rice. Amazing, so once it's all cooked and it's steaming and it's nicely together, then there you go, it's so healthy. You know, if you wanna keep it inexpensive and simple, this is great how it is, just with the added lemon. But you know, if you wanna jazz it up a bit, then you can add anything, you know, tahini, tamari, extra spices, sauteing some chili with the garlic is really yum. But otherwise, just this with lemon juice is really just perfect. One of my favorite wheat day suppers. So there you go, just mix that all up to the finish. Add a little bit of extra pepper. And there you go, 